All right, to start off with, I will be painting a rainbow of colors on my neck. By rainbow, I mean Roy G. Biv, and by that I mean red, orange, yellow, green, indigo, and violet. Learned that in the third grade. Now, it's okay if it's a little messy, it's supposed to look that way. Try to make the colors darker on, on top and lighter and messier as you go down the neck. And this is me trying to make that yellow brighter because for whatever reason that yellow just didn't want to work. Alright, on to the eyes. So, on the eyes, I took a black eyeliner pencil and just lined the bottom and the top of the eyes. And again, it does not have to be perfect. Messy is key here. And you'll see why later. And the next step, I took a whole bunch of, well, a mixture of browns and blacks and just lines. The bottom of my eyes and also the top as well. Be sure to have primer on your eyes because it makes it e a lot easier to blend and it makes the colors stand out. Again, don't worry about this being messy because messy is key doesn't have to be perfect. Next, I added some red around the bottom of the eyes and you know I kind of made it a little messy, kind of made the red run a little down uh, down my face, um, almost like I was crying. So just be messy, have fun with it, whatevs. Then, of course, you know, after the red, I'm ahead of myself. That's awesome. Here I go. <laughs> I'm gonna add some highlight and shadows to my eyes to kind of make the red, I guess, sort of pop. Please ignore my crazy dances. I was listening to a music. Next, we're going to move on to the eyebrows. Very uh, self-explanatory there. Sisters not twins, y'all. Sisters not twins. Again, please ignore my stupid dancing. Alright, the next step for me was of course mascara now like I said make it messy so it's okay if you get it on your eyes a little bit notice how I'm making faces that's because I poked myself in the eye several times try not to do that because it hurts all right next I am rolling thick skin into a ball you don't need a whole lot all I'm trying to do here is giving some sort of texture to where I can hold the pins I plan on placing. Um, so what I did was I put it on my forehead and then I shaded it and highlighted it a little bit with some reds and some browns and also black. Um, I'm just trying to make it look like the skin is in pain, not necessarily bloody or a hole, just like the skin is inflammated, I guess you could say. So, that's me doing that right here. <laughs> kind of looks like I have pimples on my forehead, just saying. But after I have shaded, I will put the pins in. Yeah, I kind of had a little trouble for whatever reason. The hollows of my cheek just did not want to work with me there. But to be fair, it was really hot in my house and the fake skin wanted to melt. And again, me doing a happy dance for whatever reason. But you can see that the pins kept wanting to fall. 
All right, the next step I did was I wrote words on my face um, by the pins because I wanted it to kind of represent, you know, how words do hurt you, even though people always say sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Well, I don't think that's true. Words do hurt. Words can sometimes be harsh, especially bad ones, horrible ones, like, you know, people who call you ugly or trashy or disgusting or a freak or whatever. But I just put whatever words on my face, like so, and yes, it looks backwards, but technically it's not. It's just because I filmed it. Alright, the next step was adding the blood. And I started off with a droplet, but it was taking too long, so I went from droplet to my fingertips. I mean, you can see how long it is taking me. I was just like, ah, oh, fingertips. <laughs> and again, it was taking too long with my fingertips. So I was like, you know what? Let's just use a stippling sponge. So much easier, by the way. Oh, and in case you're wondering why I have a white thing around my neck, it was to try not to get any blood anywhere else because Blood can be messy. But you're going to want to put the blood around the pins and underneath the eyes. Almost kind of like you've been crying blood. Only you're not. Alright guys, this is the finished look. I hope you like it. And if you like what you see, please subscribe and like and all that good jazz. I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys! Hey, uh, what is up guys? Um, for whatever reason, I just could not get this intro at the beginning of my video, so I figured I would explain a little bit about um, my artwork of what I did and, and why I came up with the idea of pins in the face with words on it. Um, but, um, you know, a lot of people think that words don't hurt us, that what people say to us don't affect us in any way when really it does, you know. It says in Proverbs that the Proverbs 18:21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Which basically means you can speak life over someone, or you can speak death over someone. Either way, you can encourage, bring life to someone, or you can bring death to someone. So, with that said, um, that is the reason why I came up with that artwork, the reason why I, I guess, depicted it. I wanted to show you, you know, hurtful words are a way of also hurting people. So, I guess if you liked what you saw, and this is your first time seeing me, please subscribe. Um, leave a comment down below if you liked it or not, and, you know, just tell me what other things you would love to see, because I'm new at this. I just, I love sharing my art with the world, and I love makeup, and I do all sorts of different things, so, you know, characters is one thing, sometimes I'll do full-on glam, and sometimes, as you can see right now, I have absolutely no makeup on, and I look like I've been through H-E double hockey sticks today, which, it has been a long day, let me just tell you, we've been shopping, and thrift shopping, and going for air conditioners, because, well... It's hot here. It's hot in this house. Anyways, um, I hope y'all enjoyed um, what I had to offer. Um, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye!